Hello. I have um I have a few items to use for this ASMR video. This is going to be a tapping video. So I've been getting several um Mercury smart bulbs lately. I love these bulbs. They uh just you just add them using the app to your Google smart uh, the smart light to your Google account and you can use Google Home or use your Google Home speaker uh, I have a Google Home mini speaker and I can use it to control the lights from anywhere or use the app so either by voice command or the app and you can dim them change them to any color you can dim them from 1% to 100% so they're really cool so I've got this mercury light, I have, um, let's see, I now have three of these and my Google Smart Socket that I use to control the two lamp lights. Uh, well, it's actually just a Smart Socket, but it's linked with Google now, so that's really cool. And I thought this might make some nice sounds to uh, tap on before I install the light. Let me know if it sounds good. I also got this for um, $5 at this thrift store place. Well, actually, it's not a thrift store. The stuff's not supposedly not used, so regardless, I got it for 5 bucks. This uh, Lojas LED, I guess that's the name of it smart lamp with multiple colors, multicolored, and it's dimmable, just like the um, Mercury smart bulbs that I really like. This nail broke, so I'm going to use these to tap. Hold on. Hopefully you don't hear me wheezing, but I've been wheezing today. Um, actually, I started wheezing now because I made a milkshake and ate the milkshake and I always get very congested and start coughing and everything every time I eat a milkshake or drink milk or cereal milk anything with milk I hate that but it's just something a problem that I have so this light actually works with Amazon Echo these lights work with Google and Google Home and the Google Home Mini speakers and you can also use the app or voice control to uh, control them. This one might work with your Amazon Fire TV stick because it says it works with Amazon Echo so I don't know if it works with Alexa or not. I guess I'll find out when I use my Fire TV stick and see if it works with it. This is a much larger bulb than uh, the other bulb. You can tell the difference. You can see the difference in them. Obviously, it's a much larger light bulb than that one. And it's also, it's an LED bulb, so it's it's different than the other one. But I thought before I set them up and connect them, they might make for some nice tapping sounds. I'm not going to set them up right away, so it'll be a few days. I've already got, like, um, I have a couple of them already set up, so I'm thinking about getting another smart bulb, another uh, mercury bulb. I've gotten these through either discounts or through, um, for free through, uh, with my savings catcher money and shop kicks app money um, and I got this one for five dollars so it was a major discount <clears throat> and the smart socket I got that for free as a free item and they're like thirty dollars to fifty dollars so that's a really good deal that I got on that I just thought I would talk about it so I could have something to talk about in this video. So I'm gonna put this back in its plastic. Some crinkly crackly sounds. 
I guess I was wrong. I said I would just do some tapping, but I did some crinkly crackly sounds as well, didn't I? Obviously this has instruction manual and things in there. So let's put that back together. Some box sounds there. I'll do some tapping. It obviously works with your router, your home network, your Wi-Fi, and connects to the cloud and utilizes your this one utilize these utilize your Google account and you can then use your Google speaker or app to um, control the lights which is really cool Okay, this um, this is the Inspector Gadget movie, the DVD, and I thought it might make some really nice tapping sounds. It's got a very sturdy case back when they made very good cases for movies. Those of you that enjoy the Blu-ray DVD sounds, this is a DVD, by the way. Um, I actually got it for a penny on Amazon. Uh, it was in very high high quality condition. It was it was new, but it was sold by um, Goodwill Industries on Amazon. They sold it for a penny, but Amazon charged three ninety nine shipping. So I wound up having to pay four dollars for the movie itself, which is still not bad. That's a good price for a for a a new condition movie, never opened. But the thing is. Amazon really shouldn't charge such expensive prices for shipping. I mean, come on, every time, unless you have Prime, that rhymed, that rhymed again. <laughs> every time, Prime, rhyme. Anyway, seriously though, you shouldn't have to um, pay that every single time. But yeah, Matthew Broderick did a really good job in Inspector Gadget, and French Stewart did a good job in the second one as well, you know, taking his place. They didn't get a highest, the higher paid actor like Matthew Broderick for the second one, but, I mean, French Stewart did a good job as a replacement. He sounded more like the uh, cartoon animated version of, of Inspector Gadget, Go-Go Gadget. Yeah, he sounded like the animated version of Gadget. And it is widescreen, so it's got full screen and widescreen, I think. It's widescreen, so it looks good on your modern TVs, the modern, uh, modern HD TVs. I have a lot of Blu-rays and DVDs, a lot of them, and yeah, I have a whole lot of um, Blu-rays and DVDs, I've got a large collection of movies and shows, seasons of shows, and um, DVDs and Blu-ray discs, so cartoons, everything. I've got everything you think of you can think of of movies. But this was back when they made really good packaging. I mean packages. They actually really, really worked hard on their quality back then. I mean the discs were made very, very in very good condition. Yeah, they did a really good job on that. You can probably see the phone in the reflection, by the way, but... Yeah. Go-Go Gadget close. So, yeah, that was Matthew Broderick and, uh... Rupert Everett there. He played Claw, Rupert Everett played uh, Dr. Claw in the first one, and then, um, I forgot 
the name of the person who played uh, Dr. Claw in the second one. It was a different guy. And he went with the more original comic and cartoon style of uh, Dr. Claw, where he covered his face in the second one. And then French Stewart went with the original, the more original, like the uh, cartoon style, like the series of Inspector Gadget. <clears throat> but Matthew Broderick did a really good job as Inspector Gadget. They both did, I mean, but the first one obviously was more, it was better and more uh, realistic. The second one, it, it, it wasn't as high high budget, really, it was, the, the, the um, you could tell that it was the CGI and animation, you could tell that it was animated. Even as a child, I could tell it, it didn't have the same feel, well, even when I was younger. I think the DVD of this released in 2000... Let's see, 2000, what, I'm trying to remember, it was around the year 2000, it might be on the DVD itself, Google Gadget open, <laughs> <coughs> those of you who are familiar with that era know that Disney's Inspector Gadget, it was, it holds a special place in our heart, well it holds one in my heart. It was always one of my favorite movies. And I've always wanted it on DVD, and uh, so I, I got it on Amazon a few years ago. I mean, I know you can watch it online somewhere, but I still just I still wanted to, uh, to own it on DVD. I still like to, even though I stream all the time, I still like to um, own the physical copy of something, if I can, if it's possible. This makes some nice tapping sounds, in my opinion. If you'd like me to read the back, let me know, if you're interested. You know what, what the heck, I'll go ahead and do it anyway. Wowzer. Wowzer? I thought it was Wowzers. Anyway, uh, Wowzer, Wowzer, whichever, Disney's Inspector Gadget Tur Turbo charges to life in a wild, wild and quirky adventure comedy with a thousand moving parts. During a daring rescue attempt, John Brown, played by Matthew Broderick, a naive and clueless security guard experiences the wrath of the, the evil Dr. Claw, played by Rupert Everett. And <clears throat> excuse me, and is left clinging to life. <clears throat> excuse me again, jumping at the chance to put her robotics expertise into the test or to the test. The brilliant Dr. Brenda Bradford, played by by Jolie Fisher, transforms him into Inspector Gadget, the ultimate crime-fighting tool. And Gadget is going to need every techno trick up his cyber sleeve to defeat the ruthless Claw before Claw reduces our hero to spare parts and wreaks havoc on this world. The non-stop non action, seamless special effects, and gazillion gizmos make Inspector Gadget a hilarious techno thrill ride the whole family will watch over and over. And the special features on this, if it will focus, if you can read that there. Okay. Uh, the special features are Go inside Inspector Gadget. They show you the making of the movie featurette, and similar to what they did for the second one on DVD. Um, the theatrical trailer for it, Youngstown music video, and obviously it comes with various language tracks like French and everything, where you can listen to it in French and English. Um, and obviously now it's standard. Dolby Digital 5.1 uh, widescreen is standard. That's nowadays is a standard thing. Now, now today. A few years ago, when streaming, it took three hours for me. Not just streaming, it took three hours to download an episode, a 30-minute episode. Now people, people's attention span, they give up after 10 seconds, five to 10 seconds. Something's going on outside. I'll have to go uh, check it out and see what's going on. But the animals are started up. The dog started barking. But yeah, um,
I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Peace, love, and many blessings, and as always, sweet dreams. But yeah, we have it a whole lot more, um, we, uh, we're used to quick speeds. When it messes up, we really notice it, and it gets on our nerves now. But yeah, everything's so interconnected, and the internet, we can talk to each other. It's just, it's amazing in comparison to what it was like with this instant connection and talking. It's amazing in comparison to what it was like when I grew up. I wish there was, I wish there was more positivity, though. I really do with it. I wish more positivity would be put out there. We need to stop all the negativity. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Um, hopefully I can help you relax. And if you'd like to see some of my movie collection in a future ASMR video, which I think I'll do anyway, let me know. So much love to everyone uh, watching this. As always, peace, love, and many blessings. And as always, sweet dreams. Sweet dreams, everyone. Go, go, Gadget, out. <laughs> I can't do that right now in my uh, ASMR voice, but Gadget out. Anyway, um, anyway, sweet dreams, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's been another almost 17-minute video, so another good long ASMR video for you to relax to, hopefully. Leave your feedback, and thank you for the recent subscribers. Help this channel continue to grow. Feel free to support this channel. And as always, peace, love, and many blessings. As always, to everyone. Sweet dreams. Whoops, the movie almost fell. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night.